Hey there, and welcome to this video on how to set up your development environment for building with AWS Solutions Constructs. My name is Ryan Hayes. I'm a solutions developer here at AWS. And today I'm gonna to walk you through going from a cold, empty development environment to one that's warmed up and bootstrapped with everything you'll need to start building. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do when starting from scratch is to install the AWS CDK. This is because Solutions Constructs are really higher level CDK constructs, and you'll be using them inside of a CDK project or application. To do this, we'll simply install the AWS CDK from NPM. This will give you all of the utilities and command line tools needed to set up, build, and ultimately deploy your solution. Now, AWS Cloud9, which is the IDE that I'm using here, already comes with the CDK installed. So if you're using another tool suite, this might take a few more seconds to run through. Once we're done with that, we'll create a new folder for our project to live in. I'll make a new directory called my solution here, and then I'll jump into it. Now it's time to set up the project. Now I always recommend running the CDK init script to do this. It'll install all the packages you'll need to get started, and it gives you a baseline project structure that builds right out of the box. To do this, I'll run CDK init app, and I'll set my language flag to TypeScript before hitting enter and letting it go. This script will take a little bit of time to run through as it installs and provisions the baseline assets for your project. Once we're all done running our CDK init script here, let's check out the folder structure to the left. When I expand the My Solution folder, I see there's a bunch of new assets inside. I'll take a minute to go through each one now, starting with the bin folder. Inside of here, I see a mysolution.ts file that was created. This file wraps your entire CDK application, and it brings in one or more stacks from the lib folder. We can think of this as the front door for our project. Now, speaking of the lib folder, let's open up that one now. Inside of here, we can see that a sample stack file has all been created for us. The stack file is really where the bulk of our implementation will go. We'd use this file to add both solutions constructs and CDK constructs, as well as any other logic for our infrastructure. As your solution gets bigger and bigger, you might consider breaking capabilities into multiple stacks. But for the sake of simplicity, we won't get into that in this video. Now, moving right along, let's take a peek inside of that node modules folder. As you can see here, the CDK init script installed a ton of dependencies already for us. These give us the ability to build, test, and deploy our project right out of the box. Now, you heard that correctly. I said test as part of that last sentence. If you pop open the test folder, you'll see that we have a file inside that actually gives us a shell for writing our infrastructure test cases. This is one of the big leaps forward that the CDK gives us over traditional CloudFormation. And here you have a sample unit test that you can use as a template. We have a cdk.json file for configuring our CDK toolkit. Then we have a jest.config.js file for configuring our test suite. Then we have your typical package.json file. Next, there's a readme file for writing out your documentation. And then finally, we have a tsconfig file at the bottom for spelling out your compiler options. And so that's a wrap on getting your development environment set up for use with AWS Solutions Constructs. We covered installing the CDK, creating a baseline CDK project, and we had a look at each of the files inside of that project. Now, if you're looking for more information on how to set things up, I recommend taking a look at these great resources here as well. Thanks for tuning in today. Once again, my name is Ryan Hayes, and I invite you to check out the other great videos we have on building with AWS Solutions Constructs. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.